This is how we celebrate New Year's in Japan. New Year's is such an important celebration in Japan, and typically you spend it with your family and relatives, and all you do is eat and drink all day and all night. But you don't just eat anything, there are specific things that you have to eat, so I want to show you what we eat on New Year's and New Year's Eve. Now, this box is called Osechi, and there's all these food. This is the menu packed inside three layers of these boxes. And here you can see that there's a little bit of everything, and these are all food that can be preserved for a few days. And the reason why we eat food that can be preserved for a long time is because a long time ago, during the New Year's celebration in Japan, everything was closed on New Year's Eve and on the three days of New Year's. No supermarkets, no restaurants, no nothing. So people had to make preservable, 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 sorry, preserva, preservable food so that they can eat through New Year's. But I'm talking way too much, and now. We're at the next one. So this is obviously soba, and you eat this on New Year's Eve to wish for a long, healthy life, like the soba. But my soba this year was kind of short, so let's see what happens. Anyways, I'll show you what's inside the osechi. The first one is salted fish eggs, and it's really crunchy. So here's some osechi ASMR for you. And I know a lot of people like hate it when people eat fish eggs, but like if you think about it, it's like another form of caviar. Anyways, now we're on to fish egg number two. This is mullet roe. And you have to eat it like this. So you take one little bite, put it down, and you have to take a sip of your drink after. And then you have to go eat something else and then come back to it. And that's the best way to eat it, okay? Um, please don't ask me why. Okay, so this is another dish. I told you all we're going to do is eat. This is a traditional Japanese hot pot called oden. And it's not hot like spicy. It's just hot as in like hot, hot. Um, this white fluffy thing is fish cake. It's softer than a marshmallow. It's really good. And we don't usually eat oden on New Year's. It's not like a tradition. But my dad just wanted to make it. And you guys, the egg is unbelievably good because it's been soaked in the broth all day. It's so flavorful. And this stringy thing here is called shirataki. And I have absolutely no idea how to explain it in English. It's very chewy, but I have absolutely no idea what it's made out of. Apparently, it's very good for your health and it tastes really good too. And this one here on a stick is beef Tendon? Ten, mm. tendon? I don't really know what part of the beef this is, and I honestly don't really want to know. But it's very chewy, and it goes really well with yeah. the other stuff in the oden. So anyways, this is all New Year's Eve. And um, oh, the soba was from lunch, though. But the osechi and the oden, we're having it for dinner. And since it's a celebration, like everything's very high quality, so you just can't stop eating. Traditionally, you had to keep the osechi for like five days because nothing was open. But nowadays, we have places that are open. We have the convenience store. We have 24-hour places. So we just ended up eating the whole thing in like two days mm -hmm. you can definitely get smaller osechi for like two people yeah, our family is five so we always get the big one from the same place you can even make your own if you wanted to and a lot of people make their own osechi but i highly recommend not doing it because even as a japanese person it is so hard and very time consuming by the way i lived in japan my whole life and my mom's japanese but my dad is korean and we always do the traditional Japanese New Year because even my dad is born in Japan. A lot of people still ask me if I live in America or I'm from America. I am not American. I have never lived in America. I just have a very American accent for some reason, okay? Anyways, my plan was to explain everything that I was eating in the osechi, but there was way too many. So if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments and I will try to answer your questions. This is the only time I'm going to be answering questions about food because like every time I post something about food on TikTok, people are so weird and uneducated about food like a lot of people think that everything is disgusting if you didn't grow up eating it which is the most ridiculous thing and i don't even want to engage so i will only be answering questions that are legitimate and respectful oh and tell me what you guys eat on new year's eve or new year's in your country because i love watching videos of like what people eat and i've been following this ukrainian girl i forgot her name but she keeps eating and she does this really funny voiceover i don't know if you guys know her and she's eating all these ukrainian food and everything is so different and so interesting so if you guys know any creators like her and post videos of what they eat please put them in the comments i really want to see it oh and this is one of my favorite too this is abalone abalone it's called awabi in japanese there's tons of seafood in osechi so yeah maybe if you don't like seafood osechi might not really be a thing for you and now i have to show you guys new year's it's going to be really short oh wait hold on it's gonna come up here. eventually but anyways on new year's day we eat this thing called oh here it is ozoni which is um rice cake soup but since we're half korean we use this korean 
rice cake called topgu. So it's a little bit different from traditional Japanese ozoni, but every family has their own way to make ozoni. And it's really interesting because the recipe is pretty much the same, but it tastes very different according to the household. So anyways, this is what we eat for New Year's in Japan. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy New Year's. Bye!